everyone, welcome back to my channel and tonight we'll be reading a story from one of the 10 haunted houses from the haunted house collection. Now tonight's story, it's from the Alton Mirror for at the McPike Mansion. Shadows darker than dark at McPike Mansion. Looming high over the Illinois town of Alton across the mighty Mississippi from St. Louis stands the endlessly haunted McPike Mansion. Built in 1869 by local businessman and horticulturist Henry Guest McPike, the graceful Italianate Victorian style and red brick home is still one of the most beautiful houses in the county. With 16 rooms for his thriving family and a, value, a vaulted wine cellar to bottle the fruit of his extensive vineyard growing on the 15 acre uh, country estate called Mount Lookout, it's no wonder the McPike Mansion is listed on the National Register of Historic Places. The mansion's next owner, Paul Leitchinger, uh, turned it into a boarding house for renters, but tenants rarely stayed for long. They often complained of strange events, sounds of children playing when none were on the entire grounds, faces peering out windows of empty rooms, unexplained mists that moved from room to room, and a shadow in the old wine cellar, darker than darkness itself. No one bought the house a uh, haunted property after Le Chinger died in 1945. It was left to the ghosts for the next 50 years. Age, weather and vandals turned the once elegant dwelling into a crumbling ruin. It became the perfect image of a haunted mansion, bringing chills down the spines of passer passersby with its rusted pike, uh, spiked iron fence and broken windows, the looming menacing presence and the forgotten graveyard deep within the wildly overgrown landscape. Finally, in 1994, Sharon and George Lude uh, saw the remarkable beauty beneath the ruin and bought it with hopes of restoring the mansion to its former glory. They heard all the ghost stories but paid them no mind. Six weeks later, Sharon was watering the flowers in the front yard and was startled to see a tall man in a striped shirt gazing out a second story window. She knew no one was in the house. She later saw a photo of the second owner, Paul Leitanger, um, and immediately recognized his face and clothing as the man in the window. George Lute often feels an unseen presence of supervising his first restoration work on the house, often giving a friendly masculine one armed hung over his shoulders as if thanking him for a job well done. There's a female ghost too, wearing lilac perfume. Sharon named her Sarah and felt that she had been a servant here. Imagine her surprise when an Alton resident gave her some books that had once belonged to the McPike family. Inside the fly leaf was the name Sarah Wells. The Lutes uh, welcome a select number of ghost hunters uh, for research. One such team, led by the renowned haunted researcher and prolific author Troy Taylor, were investigating the dark shadow often seen in the wine cellar. One team member uh, became claustrophobic in the musty constricted cellar and was escorted upstairs by her female friend. Taylor and the others waited for the friend to return to continue the investigation. Soon they heard her footsteps descend into the basement across, across the basement floor then descend the cellar steps. There was a short pause. 
Then the metal door to the wine cellar was pushed open, scraping against the stone floor. Taylor turned to ask about the old woman, but the doorway was empty. Both women were still upstairs and no one else was in the house. Baffled, the veteran team did their best to debunk what they clearly heard and even caught in, on videotape. But the evidence in the McPike mansion itself remains a spine-tingling mystery. So this house is in Alton, Illinois, and it was built in 1869. Well, that's it for tonight's story in the Alton Mirror newspaper. Um, but yeah, so I have eight more haunted houses to read you about. So I will, that's it for the today's video and I'll see you all next time. Bye.